Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. We're working on the next iteration on R2D2. It's going to be released in the beginning of July 2017. We will be able to use uh, I3WM in this um, distro, this launch, this release. It's uh, a super fast. It's a good way to have a fallback when you did something wrong and open box will not start because Linux is for many of us a learning experience and if you screw up uh, double dot 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 you eh, make it uh, crash then you can decide to launch i3wm and work on uh, there I had an interview today with uh, the guys from destination Linux and Linux Quest uh, Rob Collins and Rocco invited me and I, it made me think that I did not make much tutorial about uh, how do you create icons. And, um, well, I had to install a program called Zoom. And this call program is, is uh, for conferencing, calling, video and all that. And I noticed that I do not have an icon for it. So, without further ado, the idea of this tutorial is how on earth do I create these Sardi icons. So I'm gonna make one and in the meantime as well of course for the surfing icons okay so what did i do first things off first thing i did so let's trace back a bit back in zoom i found out there is a program called zoom and i installed it's a video conferencing web conference service okay what can you do you can figure out in the package manager what is this zoom where where is he going to put this data? Actually, I didn't do it that way, but you can do it. Would be a smart thing to check it here because it's going to put it on the opt folder. So a special kind of folder, opt folder. So in here, you will find in this folder images. And these images can be looked at. You can check out what's, what's in this opt folder. Uh, where is it? Down here. Down here you'll find it. And here is the zoom folder. And here is the PNG that's been used. But as you can see, I have monochrome icons. Even I start zoom, you'll get this blue icon. So oh, what's happening? So I'm going to make myself a zoom icon. This is our example. This is our program. So both of these, one of these is okay. But I should base myself and the question was put to me how do you create it one and then the coloring the design i will not make a completely different icon because then you won't recognize it so zoom the software engineers made this and i'm going to use it so open with a lot of things to open it with but i'm going to use inkscape because i want to end up with an svg why an SVG, not a PNG? SVGs can be changed. It's a text file. You can change it. And I want you to change it. The Sardi icons are can, can expand. We have scripts. Every Sardi icon that has the word flexible can be changed with the scripts. Every uh, icon theme that has Colora behind it can be changed with the script. You can change 3000 icons, like for instance, Sardi Flexible. In five seconds, you change 3000 icons into red icons or blue icons of any of the 60 million colors there are. Okay, that being said, how do you do this? So, we have this example. We need to extract it, we need to extrapolate, we need to have a study icon at the end. Okay, first of all, I select it here, as you can see. And then we go to trace bitmap. We move this a bit like so. We take a live preview and we try changing these things here. Edge detect, color quanta, quantization, invert image, not gonna help. Brightness steps, nothing to see. Colors, grays, I'm not interested in colors. What I wanna do, I wanna have this line. Can I figure out, can I find this line? Can I extract it to, to make it myself? You could make it yourself this is actually quite easy to make it yourself but let's make a 
more difficult one. <laughs> Meaning, why not take edge detection and see what happens. Live preview is on. Like so, nothing happens, like so. Okay. Ah, something happened here, as you can see. Okay, let's take one. Okay, done. Don't need this anymore. This is now our image. Used to be. Delete. It's gone. Maybe we should keep it. Control Z. Oh yeah. Screen key. Let's activate the key so you can see what buttons I press. So, Control Z, Control Y. All right. Um, this is the start of. This is what I have. I do not need this one. I don't, do not need these lines. I can create them. Some the icons have their own circles and their own shadows. So that's something I don't need. So I'm not going to delete this. Then I'm looking at this kind of strange behavior. Well, that's already better. This I don't need. This I don't need. That I don't need. Okay, we have something like this. And we started off with something like that. A bit closer. And then zoom in. Okay. All right. We can do different things. We're master of our own icon. We can do whatever we want. We don't need to make a copy. We can change it. But we can do, for instance, a button like this. This will make it a little bit more smooth. We can also delete things here. And say, let's go about it like that. Um, we can make this more round. This is a round effect. We do not need to make it round, but we can make it round. But not like this then. We deleted one of the points here. Make it more smooth. And then it's all a matter of perception, looking very carefully and say, okay, this needs to go there first. And then double click like so. Now if we've made it a little bit more round. Okay. This is not as uh, thick as up there. Better. And that's really fine tuning and figuring out whether things are better like this, for instance. No. Let's choose one of the buttons up there. You can make it longer. Like so. Let's take a look. let's take a look. It doesn't have to be perfect. It really is not that important. But you see, if you zoom in, that it is not the way it should be. And that's how you make an icon. What I do now, what you don't see, is tilt my head to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and then feel, yeah, it's a good feeling, feel if it's okay. If I don't like this, maybe we should delete this one as well, and I want to make this smaller, like the others. And then it's again, zoom in, because we need to make it look like it's on a straight line. I will be silent from time to time. I need to concentrate. Like so. Okay, now this one. This one seems to go a bit too thick. So let's make it a bit, ooh, 
control Z. Let's make it a little bit more like so. There's no problem if it's thicker, that it's different with the original one. I do think that everybody will recognize it. still the shape of zoom. That's no problem. It's still a little bit rough here. So we decide what we take. We have here the auto smooth, we have here the node symmetric. Selected node, nodes smooth and the corners. So it's definitely not a corner. So let's take this one. Whoops, control Z. Maybe that one again. A oh, whoops. Okay. So we will definitely need to choose one and then work it the way we want. Uh, why not like this? Okay. Why not like that? Zoom out again. Zoom in. As you can see, it does take a while. And then all depending how demanding you are, you are on for yourself, you stop and I say okay I fiddled enough or you just keep fiddling until you're happy and then you come back to the system and say what did I create and you start fiddling some more <laughs> it's a bit thicker on the other side down there so I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker here as well let's make it as well like that and we can shift it about but the problem is this is this is fun this is okay the problem is to make it correct <laughs> that's the problem ah what's this here okay 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 all right stop Control Y. I need another one. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the one that's. Oh, come on, guy. Yeah, the symmetric one. That's a better one, I think. Okay, not this one. Delete. There's one. That's why that's going wrong. There's one more. That's now deleted. Okay, I'm almost okay with it. That's why it's not symmetric. That's why. For the sake of the tutorial, but I must say, okay, I'm satisfied. Let's say, except sorry guys, except up here, this is more steeper than the other one. Um, I'm more happy with this. Okay, so we have this model, this, this, this uh, lines that I want to have. What I do then? I don't need this one. I go to my icons. I go to I start always with slightly flexible. So if you are watching and you say, oh yeah, I want to do this as well. And I want to contribute, that would be nice. To contribute, I'll give you a tip. Windows Shift D. Super Shift D. Sorry, it's on the other screen. Okay, again, escape. Windows Shift D. There you have it. That's one one of the themes that you can use. Uh, sorry, menus that you can use. It's also a menu that comes from i3wm, which is now included in Arch Labs Yoda. What I was saying. Um, pop, 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 pop. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Escape. So with this, okay. Next up, 
is that we need to have a program again yellow screen we have to have nemo why nemo i use a file manager nemo just for this task why icons slightly flexible scalable it's an application and this is a great button search and i can search for fire something and there you have it this is all the fur icons so firefox so if i'm looking for an icon it's so fast i can i look for zoom but of course i don't make it so there is no zoom what i'm gonna look for this time is for my default icon i start with my default icon and sometimes i overwrite it so i have also a default icon backup so default icon double click it this is what i start with this has all the settings in settings i mean there are parts elements layers uh, in this thing we have a ring and a color and a shadow and this elephant and this elephant has to go so buy elephant then i go to here no need to see all these uh, and we call it again notes or something like that doesn't we have notes we just take this one Control c actually we can now delete it but let's wait a bit Control v move it over here Control shift and then up and make it bigger think about the size of the one and a half regarding to the picture then make it white so click make it white because all the icons of the the drawings inside Sardi are white. Okay, that's done. F F F F R G B. Then I'm gonna double click here. No, double click not, but click there. This is my shadow. I'm gonna reuse my shadow that I've made. Easiest way to do it for me. I mean, maybe it might be other ways to do it, but that's how I do it. So I clicked here and then I have these, these notes again. Control A. I will tell them to make a corner. I guess I do this all the time. Twice. So everything is now a corner, a straight line, because I need straight lines. From now on, it's a shadow. The sun is standing to the left, upper left there somewhere. And the shadow is shining or beaming down up on it these things i don't need well maybe the last one so let's not be hasty this one goes up there this is out of place this is going like so come on like so do check that there are no gaps here that's that and then we should have some shadow here the sun is shining from there so we have to end up here the sun is over there let's fix it later delete this yep gone and maybe one or two but not much so we can hide this there and this one there and that one there and we go handles we can make it like so then again i'm gonna tilt my head to the left to the right there is this line over here there is this line over there it should all be parallel to each other and i sense that we need to do it like so and then we zoom out we click here and say okay this is my icon there is a um, keyboard number keyboard keyboard one two three uh, three does nothing four five six uh, seven eight and nine so i guess one is okay for me and then um, i see that this line is not okay this line up here should be more like so tilting my head again i feel that this is not Correct, the sun is not shining like that. 
at some point in time I do have to let go and say okay this is it <laughs> that's that's the most difficult part making it wrong is easy as you see that's wrong it's clear but making it correct is the hard part okay now do not save it default icon do not save it file save as zoom svg save we have now a new icon and again i'm doubting about the lines and i tilt my head but it will need to be for this tutorial so this will be my icon we started up off with uh, well something else well let's have a look so we can zoom now zoom and there's the icon it's different than the other icons so it's debatable whether I should actually make it like so like Amorak here so white and I do have a feeling that maybe just already for the tutorial sake to take a look at it so why not delete these lines all the work I've done all the effort I've done delete these lines and say everything is broken Eric what are you doing that's what I'm doing maybe this is something to live by and to keep or not so we can always do control Z so we can check it out how about this is this still still recognizable as zoom that's a question you have to put yourself is this what I want to have as an icon and then I, maybe I should do something about this that is more round let's delete this one let's move this one a bit more there and then you're actually making something completely different which is okay as well you create whatever you want to create it's your icon I don't know Anyway, at some point in time, you have to just let go and say, okay, this is going to be my icon or not. So I'm going to go Ctrl Z again. And see what we came from. I do think I like this one better than the other one. So let's do a Ctrl Z again. What point is it wrong? Ctrl Y, Ctrl Y, Ctrl Y. From here it started. Ctrl Z. Control Z, Control Z, Control Y. Okay, save. I'm gonna keep it like this. And then it's actually finished. If I start the Zoom program, if I start the Zoom program, um, it will be fixed if I do a lot of things first. What, of, what should I do? I should go to if I want to test this, that's maybe a question you'll ask. Uh, if you want to test this, you go to Savvy Flexible. You need to delete the, 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 the what is it? Oh, here it is. Icon theme cache, gone, deleted. Then you have to select the theme. So probably best to pop it in here. Um, select it to XF appearance icons so I recreated this one Sadly flexible and we should run it zoom connecting to Google and here you have our icon or not so 
then you get frustrated and you say, ah, it's not working. Look, it's still the old icon. Aha. There's a reason for everything. So exit. What's next? You have to figure out how these icons work. File manager, applications, zoom, right mouse click, send to, yup, open with. Good advice. If you are on, on the protected parts of your system, then use Sublime Text 3 development. Why? Because when I change this thing here, this thing is our .desktop file, and it's pointing to a file which I did not call zoom.png. So, um, I'm going to make the tutorial even longer. What happens is that it's, it's going to look for a, a, a name called zoom.png. Now there are two solutions. Well, it depends. Um, no, let's let's do it this way. What I now have to do is make this case, in this particular case, I'll have to make a link zoom.png that you notice the capital letter to my own icon. Okay, so if you select an icon theme, it's gonna look for a name called zoom.png. So I'm gonna say link to my original one, my zoom. And this is gonna be the name. If you find zoom.png, link it to myzoom.svg. Enter. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Where is my Nemo? Did I close Nemo? Oh, too bad. So why not another way to run it? Nemo. There you have Nemo. And then you go to the icons, to the Savvy Flexible, to the Scalable, Replications, and see what happens if you type Zoom. Aha. Uh -huh. So now I'm telling if by chance there is an application called Zoom with a big Z and .png then take this image. So I'm linking to another image. Okay, let's see if this works. Another way to start the application, so I've almost seen them all. Zoom. Oh, already we see that it's in, that's okay. This is my Sadi icon I just created. And then, um, then it's routine. I mean, oh, I'm still not good. Still have to fix something here. So we have to figure out how this works. But it might be possible that, that there is another issue in that respect. Thinking about it, if I should stop and end here. Because I, just, I was, just, uh, was just going to tell you that my work has not ended being Sardi creator. Uh, what's still to be created is the Sardi monocolors, the Sardi flat colors, the Sardi ghost, and the Sardi orb color. So I have six versions, and we'll have to do that as well later on. Um, thinking about... Um, no, I think the tutorial is long enough. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here with you. So that's one way of creating icons. There are other ways, and I'll think about it when I'm creating uh, new icons. If there's another way to do it, then I'll show you. Cheers!